Hey guys, this is James and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own LUT so that you can use it again and again to color grade your video, right? So here I have already opened a project in Adobe Premiere Pro and I have done the basic color correction. Remember that when you are making a LUT in Adobe Premiere Pro, you need to apply all the changes, all the color changes on a single Lumetri color effect. If I go to here in the effects control panel and if I show you, here is the basic correction Lumetri color effect. If I apply the changes here, so here is the Lumetri color effect and here we have already made some changes to color correct the video. If we use the same Lumetri color effect to color get the video, it will again control all of the information that we have made for color correction so we don't want that so let's make a, another Lumetri color effect if you go here in the Lumetri color panel and from here you can click add Lumetri color effect that will again add another Lumetri color here right so we'll apply all the color changes if you want to introduce different tint on your shadow highlights or midtones you need to apply that here so there are several ways to color grade the video so the basic and the easiest way is using the color wheel and match right from here you can change the color for your shadows midterms and highlight suppose you want to have orange and teal look to add orange and teal look you need to go here and first let's select face detection so that the color doesn't affect the skin tone and then if you want to introduce teal color on the shadow area then you need to select the shadow and from here you can click and drag it towards the teal color right so you can see we have introduced teal color here on this images right if i disable the effect you can see the changes now to compensate the color you need to add separate color usually when you are using teal color on the shadow area you need to use the yellow or orange color because that is the complementary color of teal color if you see here in the color field the orange color is just opposite side of the teal color right so to compensate the teal color we need to use orange or yellow color i am selecting the orange color if i increase the orange color you can see it has introduced orange color here on the uh, mid-tone section right again i will decrease the teal color a little bit so that we have more teal look and from the highlight you can also introduce separate color for this instance i am just introducing some yellow or maybe orange type color right so that is the final look if i show you the before this is the before and this is the after so we have made the color changes right you can do all crazy things here you can use hsl secondary or you can use curves to color grade the video for this tutorial i'm just using this section and from here i want to but for this tutorial i'm just using color wheel and math now let's save it as a lot file so that we can use it again and again for our future project right if you go here on the Lumetri color panel, you'll see a menu option. Click here and then you can export as cube or look file. I'm exporting cube file because cube file is supported uh, by a lot of video editing program like Vince Resolve, Final Cut or whatever video editing software you are using. It will support the cube LUT file. So I'm just selecting export cube. Then a dialog box will appear and from here you have to select where you want to save it. I am selecting desktop and give it a name. Maybe name it James Prince and save it. So the LUT file have been saved. Now if you want to the color grading here on this video, you just need to go to on the creative tab and from here select the look drop down menu and browse and there you have to select where you have saved the file go to the desktop and from here you can see there is a file called gems.cube i'm selecting this file and then i'm clicking open so that color have been applied here if i increase the intensity it will have drastic effect on the video and if i decrease it you can see the effect is not visible a lot so i'm just selecting this much so that is how that is how you can make lot in adobe premiere pro that preset in adobe premiere pro so that you can use it again and again for your videos and also if you are creative and if you are good at it you can sell the lot files so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye